What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a species Sunday. Literally locked the wife and kids outside so I could make this video for you all uninterrupted because I had species Sunday and I want to talk about a little something. I want to talk about quarry cats today, folks. Here's what's going on. Now look, is my tank filled up all the way? No. Are the plants properly trimmed? No. But did I move the Weitzman Cory Cats from downstairs up here? Oh yes, I did. And I am excited about it. Excited to show them to you. <sighs> Some uh, Cory Cats that I got. I did not hand catch them in Peru. I'm gonna zoom in here in just a second. Uh, Weitzman Cory Cats. Now, they are from southern Peru near kind of Machu Picchu, Cusco, Cusco area, I believe is what it's called. Uh, and like the southern part of Peru would actually be more uh, colder because they're on the lower or southern hemisphere. So um, it's colder climate there. Um, they say they come from about 11,000 feet. There's a fish I'm talking about right here. 11,000 feet, this guy right here. I'll try to get in closer here. 11,000 feet colder waters and that's important and there was a lot of discrepancy uh, about where they really came from because of uh, people like weren't really accurate about it but it's important to know because if they do come from 11,000 feet you uh, are gonna need colder water temperatures for them so that's kind of a big deal um, the guy, uh, a guy I was reading an article um, the Weitzman Corey by the way named after uh, Stanley Weitzman I think he was an editor at Tropical Fish Hobbyist and the uh, in charge of like the fish part of the Smithsonian Institute. So obviously that dude's a badass if he's getting sweet quarry cats named after him. You can see the uh, Sturbays and then these two guys hanging out, loving it right here. I really like them in this gravel too. I think the gravel that I have makes them kind of pop. So I'm hoping to get them to come out. But uh, that's what you can read on the internet about it. Here's what I know about them. I bought these from Eduardo Panduro of the Panduro uh, Pistogrammas in Iquitos. When I went to buy them, he goes, those are special. And I'm like, all right, here comes the sales pitch, you know? And he goes, they're from really, really cold waters, which, okay, you know, aligns with what I also have heard about them. Uh, he said that they come from where, like, southern part. I thought he said Colombia, but I, I, I could be wrong on that. So... Maybe they come in mountains in Colombia. I could have swore I heard him say Colombia, but whatever. I'm not going to go there and try to check it out. But um, and he said that uh, they're very special. Or whatever. He sold them to me for four bucks a pop, and that's four bucks in Peru. That doesn't include the like 200 bucks it costs to get them back here, including all the other fish from Peru. So um, definitely not the you know retail price. Um, the article I was reading said they were going for as high as a thousand bucks for a three quarter inch variety of them in Japan, which I thought was completely ridiculous. But then they said that now they've been breeding. So that article was from 2007. Um, so I, you know, obviously the price has come down. I've seen them for sale for like 22 bucks, something like that. I would like to breed these and that's actually going to be some fish tank TV pros content. I'm going to go into how to breed Cory cats and that sort of stuff. Don't worry. I'm still going to keep all the free videos rolling for you all. But if you want the pro stuff, you got to pay a little something for it. So there's the uh, ram I got with them. Let's see here. Oh, what else did I want to show you in here? Oh, here I'm moving around a little bit. Male ram, looking sweet. Cory cat, Schwartz eye Cory cat. Fe female uh, ram in there. I want to show you some other stuff going on in here. Tank's messy, but um, you know it is what it is. This is the crenum. How it's slowly coming off. You can see the crenum right here, and you look down here, you can see it's slowly going to split off another another uh, crenum plant, which I think is pretty dope. Uh, also, I wanted to show you guys Liguigia right here, coming up out the top. Back this up a little bit, raise it up out the top. By the way, that uh, Peru video, I did I did a video in that guy's shop. I was surprised people like didn't really dig it that much. I don't know if the lighting was bad or... My Spanish was bad or what the deal was, but I thought that place was sweet. I'm surprised more people didn't like that video. Importer in Peru, you think that'd be uh, good content, but this is Liguigia grown too long. This needs to be trimmed back, but you could just uh, trim, you know, you could trim off anywhere you see these little roots. So I'd cut it like here, cause you got this root above it. 
and then down here and you could just plant these these will be nice new growth right there boom boom all the way up the line so that's kind of fun but um, yeah so I'm having a lot of fun with it I wanted to also show the uh, algae on the glass when I put these things in here yesterday you can see a little less algae on the glass here because I scraped it and then there's a lot of it over here that's just from one day it's a little bit hazier I don't know if you guys can, can make that out in the video um, that's just from one day of really really power feeding these guys by the way I'm power feeding them new life spectrum this is what I'm feeding them I love this stuff and I sell it on aquatic jungle supplies so you're gonna check that out um, but yeah one day of overfeeding them and I got a little bit more algae than I would like on the glass of this tank so that's just uh, part of the whole balance thing I'm trying to beef them up and the reason I'm trying to beef them up is because I think they were kind of underfed down there with the uh, rainbow fish I think the rainbow fish kind of outcompeted them so that's what I wanted to show you Weitzman Cory Cats I'd love to hear your experience with Cory Cats uh, I'm really excited about Fish Tank TV Pros uh, if you go to fishtanktvpros.com, you can hit the email submit form. Uh, I'll let you know when the uh, beta version is coming out. You also get a discounted rate on it there. Uh, I've also been going through and tightening up all my videos. I've been going in and uh, logging in and just like adding annotations and stuff like that. Man, I got a lot of videos and some mess, but it's been a lot of fun. So I can like, you know, show you a sick piece of driftwood and then link to the driftwood video and stuff like that. Because I realize my content's kind of all over the place. And there's another Apista. Where did he go? He moved. He made the move as well. So, uh... That's what I'm doing. Check out Dustin's Fish Tank's Facebook fan page and also subscribe, folks. If you aren't subscribed to this, I bust these videos out once a week. I love it. I'm having a blast with it. I'm trying to do a midweek video as well. Uh, it actually stopped raining for the first time in like four days, so I'm going to go outside and enjoy the sunshine. Episto, please turn to the side to show yourself. There you go, buddy. What's up? So that's what I'm doing. I'm having a good time. Welcome new subscribers. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe and let me know what you know about Weitzman Cory Cats. Make it a great week, everyone. Later. Oh, and I'm tearing down this tank on Fish Tank TV Pros. And I'm going to videotape the whole thing and do it live with you guys on Q&A. Thought you should know. That's going to be a good time. I'm out.